inside of today's video will be the first person in the world to get your mom well actually only to play a title but as you can see i'm literally one game away from getting the pam title it's been such a long grind pam isn't the best brawler in the game right now she's pretty bad but overall hopefully this video will teach you how to master pam yourself giving you guys an in-depth guide but firstly we'll be jumping into the live game of me getting this title all right guys jumping into the final game hopefully for me to get masters i've been playing it a lot with Ark and rollo so of course i'll put both of those guys in the description they've helped me out a ton if you guys don't know arc he literally has a code to make sure to use code arc he's a brilliant caster and rollo of course literally one of my best friends in the community and literally one of the most loyal fans as well so unfortunately um, surge does get the better of the match there the painful thing is pam is just absolutely terrible on this map she was really strong on all the other brawl maps but it's just a million walls and yeah this map i don't really like the other maps with uh, indestructible walls are somewhat okay but this one it's just far too many like dynamite has just been wiping the floor with us it's just incredibly hard to really do something unless you've got like a thrower yourself so uh i mean we're doing all right so far bull has got his super bow we've got to be really careful about that. we're going to use a gadget just to remove his ammo and we should be able to get out a kill so really nice right there uh straight away whenever i'm playing pam i'm looking at what brawler i'm gonna get the most value out of my gadget with and pretty much all of them are gonna get some good value more so the surge and the bull because i'll literally be able to run into their faces once i gadget them so that's going to be where i want to be putting my gadgets towards and literally the best thing about pam by far is her gadgets and so make sure you're not wasting any of those because you want to confirm the kill every single time so again we have our super available so we want to be using our super either to tank a few shots of a surge or the crow or to of course just get some really aggro plays with the healing and also the 800 damage per tick so surge He's wasted a few ammo here so we can start to push it. We're actually going to use it here so me and Rolo can get some double value healing up. Rolo's going to bait the Surge into jump and he's going to get a really nice kill with the bubble. And now we can start to go a little bit aggressive. We're going to pass the ball in the middle here. We don't want to go too aggro here because we know we still got to take down a ball. So we can chip everyone down. Bull is pretty weak. So we know eventually we can start to go in here. Rolo is healing up. Bull is starting to get towards the ball but he's going to get absolutely melted there. Uh, let's see what we can do. We're getting close to another super. Unfortunately, Ark dies there. Rolo should be able to get it, but we're going to just gadget this Surge. Surge literally one shot. Bull one shot as well. And this isn't looking the best, guys. Really, This really is not looking too strong. Hopefully, Ark can clutch up here. You know, Crow's going to kill us in spawn. But with overtime looming, we should have a little bit of a better chance. And again, Unbreakable Wolves in overtime, I just... I don't know what to feel about it. I feel like in a year's time or something, we'll be looking back at when there used to be wars in overtime because I'm pretty certain that these won't stay. They're just absolutely terrible in terms of draws. So we're going to push up here, remove the ammo from the surge a little bit. We've got our turret in hand, so that can help us heal and also confirm the kill onto Bull. And Rolo should be able to slot this one in. So that is us getting the first mastery Pam in the world. Unfortunately, we weren't the first mastery brawler because of course pam's just terrible but it's just been pretty hard to get a good win rate and i also wasted a lot of mastery points on the first day but there it is the first mastery pam in the world and the first person to get your mum. so let's get this brand new battle card i got a screenshot of that for the twitter so again a big shout out to arc and rollo let's jump into the guide now so now jumping into the guide then so to start with we're going to be talking about the best matchups for pam but also the worst ones i'm not going to go for every single one because there are literally like 64 brawlers in the game it's going to take forever but we're just going to briefly talk about the best ways uh, to go about winning with pam so the first one's the best matchups. So these are the likes of single shot brawlers, mostly tanks, or maybe brawlers like Amber, where if you use the gadget on them, they're literally screwed. So again, brawlers like Stu Surge really come to mind, especially when I'm trying to play Pam in Power League. You know, there's certain settings like in Hot Zone, for example, where I would like to use Pam to counter the likes of Meg. Stu is really good because, of course, they can't deal enough damage to even take Pam out. Eventually, you can just chip them down. Or you can just remove their ammo and they're just screwed either way. And also it take a long time to destroy your turret. So you've got to bear that in mind as well. Because your turret is literally an extra 4k meat shield. So uh, bear that in mind with the best matchups as well. In terms of okay matchups. Like a Pam can definitely win this matchup. 
but still it's not optimal you know you're not going to just run into that matchup and win every single time so that's one thing to bear in mind but the okay ones you know these are brawlers that you can as i said definitely win because you're high hp but at the same time you might just feed them and in terms of the bad matchups as well then so the bad matchups you know these are matchups you just want to stay away from pretty much all of the time you know a few spring to mind like colette like colette just absolutely destroys palm there's basically no way you can win that matchup unless you have your turret uh then also likes of frank where palm just deals nowhere near enough damage same goes for like carl and jackie you know palm hasn't got any cancellation features so any of those brawlers you know you've got to get quite lucky to really get a consistent kill onto them so those are the best matchups again if you want me to go through these in more detail let me know i'll try maybe change it next time or maybe do a second channel video on it but i could just be here forever talking about the best matchups for pam but now let's talk about the tips in general with pam then so the first one that i highly highly stress which is just so important when it comes down to pam is to constantly stay aggressive because with Pam, you know, Pam, of course, isn't this type of brawler where, you know, like Tara, for example, where you can just run up to someone and just destroy them really quickly. She's a really like a chip brawler where you have to go super uh, aggro with a turret, uh, but it's just eventually winning your lane and match up with Pam. You know, there's no quick, you know, run and gun style with Pam. You're going to eventually win your matchup. And as long as you're keeping your enemies chipped up, and especially with the vision gear and the grass, you should be able to win your matchup a lot of times. Like surprisingly, I've been winning a lot of matchups just straight up gunning them because a lot of times they really underestimate Pam's damage. I feel like they're not going to be taken down by Pam because, you know, Pam hasn't been nowhere near the meta. So a lot of people underestimate Pam, but I've been melting a lot of people. So definitely don't be discouraged by Pam's damage. The next point I want to make then is that the vision gear is literally essential to the success of pushing Pam vision gear on pam is just so incredibly strong other than jean i think the vision gear is best on pam just because of her attack spread it's so easy to scout the grass and once you just get that one piece of intel it should be incredibly easy to finish off or at least help uh, while your teammates help you pinch them you know for example if you have like a high damage dealer like b you know all you need is a little bit of inter intel and b can just get to town and just help pinch and destroy them so quickly so vision gear is an absolute must for pam of course she's going to be more pushable on the grassier maps the brubble map that's out in the game right now i don't really recommend pushing pam there but is she any grassy map pam's going to be super strong on pretty much in the entire game she's not going to be the best in certain game modes like heist uh, bounty she's going to be best in brubble uh hot zone and also um gem grab those are going to be the three main game modes especially gem grab and hot zone uh, just because that's where Pam's always been strong on. But main reason I push Brubble is because I'm going to fast matchmaking and just pretty much uh, you're going to be facing a lot of different brawlers. So it's just pretty fun to play Brubble overall. So the next up as well, the next tip is her gadget is literally one of the best inside of a game. So hopefully you know this already, but I think this gadget is pretty much the best gadget in the game because it can allow you to win literally every single matchup in the game so not only is it of course really strong against brawlers like mortis Stu, you know wants to remove the ammo over literally screwed but pretty much every single brawler knows a few brawlers that have a really fast reload speed which uh you'll see in the graphic which pretty much have uh one of the worst matchups you know like bb for example uh um, or primo you know remove their ammo and they pretty much just got ammo straight away so of course the gadget's not going to be good against every single brawler but a well-timed gadget can just be literally game changing so make sure you're not wasting those gadgets you've only got three of them but in the course of a game if you get three really key gadgets a lot of times you can make goal scoring opportunities game winning plays it's literally that strong uh that literally like one kill if you know for example say if you're in a 3v3 if you get one kill then it's a 3v2 and then you can start pressuring and get the uh, other guys down and then score or collect the gems or you know whatever game mode you're really counting on you know just getting that one kill can be super important so i think this gadget i can't stress enough is one of the best in the game and will really help you get those wins okay so moving on to the last few tips now so straight away when the brawler screen loads up it gives you even more of a chance to look at the enemy comp and really assess you know what brawlers you're going to be the best at facing but not only that the brawlers that you're going to get the most value out of your gadgets so again talking about the gadget and just trying to get as much value you know for example you know if there's an enemy let's say piper mortis and then i don't know like a bb you know you're going to get like insane value against mortis you're going to get some decent value against piper as well 
And then BB, you just want to stay away from BB as much as possible. So that's one thing, more so now than ever, you can really assess which matchup you're going to win just from that Barilla loading screen. You know, you've got a full five seconds to look at what you're actually facing off against. So uh, yeah, that's just one key thing to note because, again, you want to get the most value out of everything pretty much in the game. That's going to give you the best chances of winning. The next one is so important. So with her super, her super may see, seem a bit lackluster to a lot of people, but... A super can be game changing. Her Pam isn't the strongest in her core mechanics and not the strongest in all matchups, but a turret can really help swing the tide into your favor. So, a lot of times, what I like to do is just throw the turret as aggressive as possible. Of course, you'll be keeping it behind a wall as much as possible because that's where it's going to be the hardest for the enemies to take down. Uh, but for the most part, you're going to be using your turret against single shot brawlers. So, again, going back to the point, where you want to use it as like a meat shield it's got 4.2k hp so that's a lot of hp and especially against the likes of Stu b they're going to take forever to take that turret down so you know if there'll be some points in the game where i see like a b as long as she hasn't got charge shot i'll just literally just throw my turret in the open i know i can either just stay behind the turret or just go extremely aggro and let it tank for me and even though it's a b you know a lot of times i can actually win that matchup because of that so also as well of course if you're close to super make sure you're also keeping the aggression because again that can really help you win the game even the 800 tick you know if you get a few ticks that can definitely swing the match up your way you know with a pam you've got to be in their face you're going to be dealing the most damage when you're literally on top of them because literally all your shots will be hitting and you should be able to start shredding them all right guys it's going to be it for today's video hope you enjoyed this one so let me know what you want me to do differently in the next guide I know it was probably a little bit shorter than probably most expected, but, uh, you know, I've been grinding this literally six hours a day uh, just to get Masters, uh, Mastery Pam, and it's been pretty stressful because Pam isn't the best brawler. She, I would say, probably in the bottom 20, the bottom 15. The only reason why she's somewhat usable is because of her gadget. Without it, she'd be pretty bad, but... You know, I've been pretty surprised actually. Like my win rate has been pretty decent overall. No melee at 900 trophies, but that is because I purposely tilted because I wanted to get masteries as quickly as possible because it's the most efficient way at the moment. So uh, let me know what I could do differently in the next guide. Also, let me know which brawler you want me to do next. So I'm thinking of doing Jean or Rico, but then again, I kind of want to do a different brawler that I'm not the best at already. If you get what I mean, like I'm, I've already basically mastered Jean and Rico. They're my best brawlers. Like, maybe I should go for a brawler, which I'm terrible at. You know, like Ash, for example, or Sam. But yeah, let me know uh, in the comment section what I can do differently. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.